T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. No, I don't make my videos geared towards kids. I make my videos for adult collectors or people like me because I am I'm definitely old at this point. So, yeah, this might be a kitty product, but I'm going to be coming at it from an adult collector point of view. These are figures from the Super Mario Brothers movie. If they have a specific name for this product line, I, I don't see it. It's basically pullback Mario carts. So there you are with that, with two figures that can actually fit in the carts. This says he's 5 POA, that says he's 7 POA. But we shall see when I open it. I'm kind of believing it. I hope they're lying and it's more POAs. But yeah, we'll see. First off, these things are 100%, 100% for kids <laughs> and the kids at heart, but they did put a lot of effort and detail into things like they put a lot of paint on it or a considerable amount of paint to make it representative of what you saw in the movies. That's plain Jane. It's connected to the box by like two like plastic locks. You have to rip open the box and turn the locks to get this off and it just comes right off. But yeah, a lot of detail and pull back. Woohoo! And he's gone. But um, the steering wheel is made of a, out of a pliable material. The tires are made out of a pliable material. I can't say that they're actually plastic. These hubcaps are painted black and the tires wrapped around it. Well, black and yellow, as you can see. And let's get Mario out the seat. So we can definitely see what the interior looks like. The steering wheel, it does not really rotate. It rotates, but then it turns back. Know why? Because it's all attached to this bar right there. So steering is not a real thing with this. So don't turn it or you're going to rip it off. Um, let's get to Peach. Her bike looks like it looks in Mario Kart 8. I think that was the first time they had the anti-gravity. Yes. So you can see that they have this coming around holding the tire on that side and coming around on this side we got the detail like her crown and we've seen her on there you see that they gave her enough neck articulation to look forward they don't think about that with some figures some smaller action figures that are capable because they're posable of getting on a bike you can do it and her feet peg to these pedals down here uh, like some of the G.I. Joe figures they're small and they could probably fit on this bike but you might not be able to get them to look up but you can see all this detail right there and I didn't notice this because they designed it so well until I took it off the box but she has four tires on this bike these are secretly tires so that's good design right there and there's a lot of paint apps and whatnot. Same deal. Pull it. Zips off. No for the anti-gravity. This does not rotate. This does not rotate. Well, let's get into the actual figures. It said Mario had 5 POA. Let's let you see his details first, though. They put the stitching to make him look slightly more realistic than normal. They put texture in the hair. Let's zoom in on that. Texture in the hat. But they started doing that with Super Mario Odyssey and the Smash Brothers games. Uh, yeah. His POAs. He has the ball joint and neck. He can't really look up. He does that. Rotates and kind of tilts to the side. You do have two points here, so you can do this. But um, that's five POA right there. 
and then six and seven. That's as far as his legs kick. Here's the bottom of the shoes, which looks good. Here's as far as I can get the leg to go back. So we can get him in a casual walking stance. But as far as his jumping pose, no. Unless you want him to be lazy with his legs and consider that to be a jump. Getting him into the Mario Kart takes some effort, to be honest. But luckily, the steering wheel is pliable. Because of the way they have this turned, his hand kind of wraps around this middle section right there. And you see how the hands are shaped. Them not being able to rotate can make it a little bit difficult. But the hands are pliable, just open them up and wrap them around there and you should be good to go. Getting Mario to stand up is simple enough. He just stands there. <laughs> but Peach, that's nah, a different story. Her knees are like perma bent so it's like you kind of have to lean her forward and then find the sweet spot but let's bring this down and that's about how much taller she was than him in the movie so that's accurate close up on peach she has extra details like the visor over top of her eyes and they painted the eyes and whatnot underneath of that you get that jewel she always wears on her chest the plastic is, it looks pearlescent here, but it's mostly white. And just like the Mario, she has extra articulation because they didn't include these two movements as two more pie two pieces of articulation. Because it is a hinge and not a ball joint like she has here. She needed a ball joint because she sits on the bike, unlike Mario. Come on, focus on her. <laughs> she can kick forward that much, kick back that much. And they also didn't include her knees bend. They didn't talk about this rotation right here. So there's that. So let's make sure you see everything. But there is Peach. Would have been nice also if she could rotate the wrist. Just like I wanted with Mario. But definitely with Mario, his hands are still forward. Her hands are like this for the bike pose. So there's that. And let's bring in a six inch action figure since I have one standing here. So yeah, they look like toddlers or little kids next to a six inch action figure. Here is a $10 Transformers Legend Scale figure right there. So I believe these are roughly like two and a half and three inches tall. Here's a deluxe scale Transformer, not for them so much as the actual vehicles. Transformers tend to be the same length as their vehicle mode, so this will give you an idea. I don't have anything transformed already. No. There's that, the bike is not as long as the cart. Finally, here is like the five inch Mario. That's like 20 bucks. So you can see he's half the size. So maybe you could pretend that this is stomping, clomping Super Mario. And this is how he gets hit and loses his Super Mushroom power. Uh, I did a review on him and Luigi, so you can look that up. But anywho, for what these are, and for what it said on the packaging before I bought it, they're great. It said 5 POA, and technically they have more than that, so that's cool. Um, one annoying thing that I'll complain about is just Peach being so difficult to stand up. Like on her own without the bike. Like, that would be something nice for her to be able to do better for, like, if kids or whoever want her to be standing next to the bike or just playing around. You don't want to just 
have them laying like that all the time in the middle. Just being able to prop her up without doing too much would be nice. Like you can at least do with Mario. But um, yeah, I didn't even know these cars actually had pullback functionality. So I'm getting more than I actually expected. But um, these will probably be probably go to my little nephews. I don't know, or just my desk at work. Anywho. Thank you for watching. Found these at Walmart. Until next time, T Man 978, out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the fucking videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should really click these videos, click, click the videos, click those in videos, baby, click, click the videos, you really should click those videos, click the channel.